hello, hello. I'm feeling inspired today, or just so frustrated that I feel like I need to do some readings just to try to make sense of what's going on, try to see the big picture. So I have read on Trump, and I've read on this horrible, cruel immigration policy. So you know what I really want to read on right now? So join me, won't you? Let's read on Summer Zervos, who is suing Donald Trump and in the discovery process is trying to get hold of the unedited Apprentice tapes where Trump allegedly said all kinds of sexist, racist, horrible, horrible things. But just in general, she's the, if, if, you, if you're not familiar with Summer Zervos, she's the, the woman who, when she was telling the story about what Trump did to her, pushing her up against the wall, and she was saying, I basically, I don't want to do this, just stop. And he'd say, get real, let's, or, or yeah, I think it was get real. Ugh. But let's, the Summer Zervos trial against Donald Trump. Let's read on that. Let's read on the Summer Zervos trial. The energy is so much more positive. And oh my gosh, considering the nasty energy I've been reading on Summer, she's, she's a delight. Her energy is wonderful. What a lovely person. After the day we've all been having, it's like I want to seriously we we all right now we want to invite her into our house and you know make her some make her some soup some nice dinner <laughs> something some reserve us soup bless you bless you summer reserve us for standing up to trump against Donald Trump. I don't know if it's necessarily a trial, it's more of a civil suit book. All right, well, the card for the reading is the Slimy Bastard card. The, I defeated you, but I'm gonna gloat, and I'm gonna take all your swords. So that's Trump. That's insult and injury. That's humiliation as well as as well as winning by force. Winning by quote unquote winning. Alright. Summer server. Oh my gosh, your energy is so nice. Oh, this is worrying Trump. Oh, this is worrying Trump. I like I like this reading already. Okay. In the past. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's Trump and that's, um, that's slime bag producer from Hollywood, whose name escapes me at the moment, strangely, and actually that's not necessarily a bad thing. I usually remember names, but he's so awful he deserves to be forgotten. Weinstein, that's his name. Yeah. Above that is the emperor, yes, because that's how Trump sees himself. He is not the president, he's the emperor. The president's power will not be questioned. Thank you, Stephen Miller. And secrets, which of which Trump has about a billion of them. Okay. For some reason, I see that as there are a lot of tapes. There are a lot of tapes. It's not just a few, there's a ton of tapes. And the base, yes, if they came out, there would be judgment about the Emperor and his secrets. All right, so what's going to happen? Oh, someone's gonna try to spend an awful lot of money to, to make this go away, to stop this, to buy her off, to, to stop the tapes from coming out. The sun, but they're going, but the tape, but it's all, all that information's gonna end up out in the open. 
about the relationship, home environment. Yep, all it's all gonna come out. Oh, yay! All right, his hopes and fears. This is this is Trump. This is the decision card, but it's also a woman who is blind, can't see what's going on, who's burdened with choices. Yeah, that's what Trump, that's the way Trump wants these women. He wants them to be helpless. He wants them to be overwhelmed. He wants to threaten to sue them. He wants to threaten and threaten and threaten and do what he normally does. All right, what other people see? Trump just clutching his money because it's all about his money, 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 money. And these little red dots next to the eyes of this figure. So this kind of makes me think of the New York skyline and Trump with his money. So this in the near future. What's the name of the what's the name of the producer? The apprentice producer who won't let the tapes come out. Who's been protecting Trump? Oof. Yeah. I feel like that has something to do with this. Burnett? I can't remember his name. Sorry. Anyway, all right, final outcome. Yeah. And, oh. What you put out in the world will come back to you. I see this as Trump finally has to, he's, he feels like he's bigger, he's more important than the people he has victimized. And he's going to be shown for what he is. I think this has to do with, with his future because I, I think he's going to flee. I, I really do. I think he's going to, before he can be impeached, before before there can be justice, real justice, he's going to flee the country. He's going to go to Russia. He's going to go. He's going to go somewhere. He's. He's a coward. We already knew that, but he's a coward. But the emperor with the secrets, the sun's going to shine, show him for he's not the emperor, he's the devil, he's the ugly, selfish, narcissistic, horrible thing, and then he's going to try to leave. Oh, let's see, is he, is he going to successfully leave before justice can be served? Is Trump going, is Trump going to leave before justice can be served? Let's see, any information on that? You know, honestly, I see that as women saying, Trump, shut your mouth. Just shut up. Enough of your bluster. So I guess we'll have to do another reading on, on Trump leaving the presidency, but I feel good about this. You know, women, Woman's finally standing up to him, showing him for what he is. Yay! Thank you for watching.